Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to take a look at the S9 port for our Galaxy J7 2016 with Android 8.0.0. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, this ROM is called as the Oreo Sama S9 port and this is a pure S9 port. Yeah, you can have that GRX accessories and all other mods like from TWRP but I wanted just a pure port so I just undid that and yeah while installation I will show that to you guys if you just want it you can just do so yeah please be patient and watch the full review and the installation video so guys let's start with the launcher and we get this S9 launcher yes it's S9 port so we are getting the S9 launcher and with all native blur functions as you can see we have the native blur in quick settings also in the edge screen and edge screen is working perfectly it's just because of my cover and you can see the apps organize the search bar with the latest touch with experience the main to home settings we get this options of home screen layout home screen grid home screen app screen read app spider app icon badges add apps to a home screen quick open notification panel portrait mode only and hide apps so this is the uh, this refers to the screen and this is the quick open notification panel thing you can see swipe down gesture and you can just uh, use this swipe up and swipe down to exit the uh, app drawer and camera so this is uh, sorry not camera this app drawer and the home screen so it's really also nice. now working bixby so you can see uh bixby now it will require internet connection and Hi, i'm connected it's great to meet you so you need to sign into your uh, Samsung account which I haven't done so yeah so as you can see it says you need to sign into your Samsung account and then it will work and also Bixby Vision is working so yeah that I will be showing you in the part of the uh, video the later part of the video then let's move into the settings about phone you can see the default name is given as Galaxy S9 Plus also the model name G9650 uh, 55F then software info you can see android version 8.0.0 it's really awesome like this is a portrait rom not the official update or anything and you can see my baseband version it's the version like my rom version which i have installed the official one and you can see build number is oreo sama s9 plus port by mohit malik and great thanks to the developer also we have the june 1 security patch so this is the last update which jsn 2016 has received and then like it's based on this june security patch so that's it that is okay for us if the rom is like purely stable like this now let's take a look at the some of the options we have into this rom so inside we went into the lock screen and security oops oh let's go back start from the first we go into display we have the brightness night mode and night mode is working you can see night light it will turn your phone like into a yellowish display so it will be great to read in night light like night time and also the blue light filter is working this is the native thing from samsung so yeah with the quantum kernel it's really working and it's really a great thing also font and screen zoom we have unlimited fonts not unlimited but like almost unlimited like limited but like 400 plus or like a thousand fonts you can select like that in the TLRP recovery i will show you afterwards and then we have screen mode so amoled cinema is the best like suits for me then we have screen resolution just let it be on hd don't make it to full hd or some dub then we have full screen apps option this is a really great option then we have the edge screen you can customize the edge panels and edge lighting too then we have the status bar and we have the show recent notifications show battery and show network speed yes network speed is also available also we have the block accident attaches and screen saver options going into advanced features we have the smart stay floating messages app lock one handed mode and yeah it's really great finger screen we don't have fingerprint yeah quick launch camera multi window smart double really really great features present we have the video enhancer and touch sensitivity won't work because we don't have a great screen then we go into device maintenance and let's take a look at the memory remaining so let's clear everything and let's check how much memory is remaining here like for use like i am using this rom from like four to five days so yeah like a user uses as you can see available space is up to 600 mb and you can see almost half or less than 
uh, less than half is present so that's a great that's a great thing and also it performs really well so no need to worry about the performance and memory and the battery also right. have the latest apps from samsung so the phone dialer and the messages app so we'll never miss any great new features and updates and also we have this camera now this is the s9 camera you won't believe but yes this is the s9 camera let's take a picture and let's take this picture and as you can see it's focused well the picture is really great calm and the outcome is great so yeah it's using the touch with camera the s9 camera and pictures come really good let's click one more picture of this like this oops uh, let me click it so this picture is uh, also really nice it come came out nice so these are how the pictures come the picture quality is so that's great now it won't change the megapixel to s9 so don't expect anything but here are some modes hdr rear cam selfie anti-fog the stack shot stickers yeah we have stickers and it works well so you can just use it afterwards and we have rear cam selfie aqua animated gif hdr auto beauty continuous shot night panorama pro sound and shot and sports mode so these are all of the modes we are getting into and then we have this bixby vision which is also working so let's skip this thing i agree oops do i agree to this oh i have to sign in so let me sign in and show you quickly. so got signed into my uh, samsung account and let's test this on this pikachu let's see if it identifies something similar uh i don't know what it's saying you okay so this is showing something different let's take a phone instead okay it's showing uh so it's showing images of phones so sometimes it's not that accurate but see this is showing iphone <laughs> samsung samsung galaxy so yeah this is what it's saying and yeah it's not that much accurate but some stuff it may like quickly recognize so this is how the Bixby vision works and it's same exactly as the s9 now it won't be accurate like the s9 but yeah sometimes it will be accurate sometimes it wouldn't so it uh, accepts that this is samsung phone that's really great so now about the battery life the battery life is really good and also i have been playing some PUBG on this mobile to test how is the performance but yeah it was okay -ish. it has some lags but it's at least pay playable on lowest settings and I play this uh, golf battle this mini clip online game and it works well so for some normal games it's really okay and the battery life is really superb I got 9 hours of screen on time in my first usage but PUBG was there so maybe you can cross 10 11 screen on in an hours of screen on time sadly i don't have the battery usage because i have resetted this rom for two three times testing that uh, like with the grx touchbase and other mods but yeah i love this simple mod and then here i am like from yesterday i'm using this device getting a good battery that's really great and this rom is the best for galaxy jason 2016 i think like now so i will recommend this to heavy users the gamers like those who still game on the jason 2016 their normal device and i hope samsung sends out galaxy jason 2016 ori update soon and that's uh that's right for this uh thing the s9 plus port and now let's start with the installation like enough of this review everything is done let's start with the installation. Now let's start with the installation you need to power off your phone and make sure you have tdlp recovery installed just use this volume up and power button and the home button to to boot your device into tdlp recovery mode and also make sure you are charged up to like about 10 percent you need to go to wipe wipe dial wake system data and cache this four partitions and let's go back install and then you need to install oreo sama s9 plus port
so this is this logo now it will start the aroma installer click next select your device so mine is the j7f j7f for fn and here we have for the j7f mn gn gn and make sure you have chosen the right variant choose full wipe and choose your favorite boot animation white or black choose the uh, omc and it shows so choose omc only like i'm choosing it and choose whatever you want so i don't like this let's choose google lock mod 2 then we have samsung notes my files choose whatever like whatever stuff you want and what not so i don't want this i want bixby if you don't want bixby just don't choose it install samsung stock fonts and install samsung reminder notes for you okay everything is good then choose this uh, style mods and you can see we have iOS emoji, Google emoji but I like this normal Samsung emoji then you can choose the splash screens we have a lot but choose only one white or black and we have GRX touchways and I have not installed like I have not shown with the installation I have choose the DPI so mine is regular if you want navbar choose navbar now I have already shown no navbar so let's see if I install never how it shows native blur and edge panels now it's done and you can also flash matches afterwards so it's on your usage you can flash it afterwards or after booting the ROM whenever you want now let us install and I will just take a break the installation is done and let's check uh, if it's properly done okay so let's finish and uh, installation is successful reboot now it's rebooting after the aroma installation is finished and you can see we have this logo Oyo Sama white one and if you choose the black one you will get the black one so let's uh, let this mobile boot up you will see this white boot animation let it boot up I will just check like I will just check you that other stuff the mods you have installed after this device so it booted and as you can see this is how it looks with the navbar and I would recommend you not to use the navbar because it will eat up this much space and even if you hide it this much space is gone so yeah I will suggest you guys to use it without the navbar and deselect the option and here we go we have the settings like you have chose GRX touchways and we get a lot of mods in it and yeah you can just uh, install if if you want to mod the launcher and the ui so this is the review and installation of the s9 board for our galaxy jason 2016 and it works on jason 10f fn m m n g g n and the variants which are launched with exynos 7870 and yes voltage also working i'm not i'm just not using a sim card right now but i have tested it using a sim card geo sim card the indian one so this is the video review and installation of the s9 port for our galaxy j7 2016 with all s9 stuff and a really great stable rom so yeah if you guys really like this video press the like button if not press the dislike button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video as always till then bye bye